so guys welcome back to my channel in this today's video we are going to solve another try hack me room named ctf collection of volume 1 and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet then just go to let's work security on youtube and subscribe it as i post uh, more videos on uh, try hack me's room so without any delay let's just get started so this room difficulty is uh, easy um, this is a basic warm up of uh, how we play CTFs and it will give us a rough idea of uh, what the CTF is and how we can handle the files that we are given and what are the tools we can use. You can proceed with the hints given to know about the tools and check for it on the Google what are the purposes of those tools. So let's just proceed in uh, task 1 it is author's note that uh, the flag is formatted as THM followed by the flags inside the curly braces and it contains of uh, 20 tasks and all are extremely easy so just take calm and uh, complete them so we just mark it as completed now let's just go to task 2 the task 2 problem is what does the base set if you know about the bases and the decoding coding section it would be clear that it is a bit 64 encrypted uh, text so for that you can use python or any other language you want or you can just use an automated tool or website available online that is cyberchef it is capable of changing any base to normal text format and uh, the vice versa like if you want to encode it into some other hashes this is very common website among the CTF players. It is taking its time to load. So just paste the hash code in the input junction. I'm really sorry, it's just got pasted uh, two times. Now, if you are not sure about what the base or the encoded format this then just go for the magic and drag and drop it here it will perform all the operations and check for the text so as you can see it was converted from base 64 these are the parameters and this is our decoded text so I just copy it and uh, paste it here so it's done if you just check for the hint again so it says it was a base 64 but we already knew about that so now let's proceed with the task 3 so the task is the meta meta it says meta 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 and i am hungry i need a flag we have a task file here let's just download this file and save it i just go to our terminal i have already created a directory named the city collection volume 1 let's just see what we have we have a find jpg let's do eog followed by find me it is a standard uh, genome image viewer as you can see it's a space image of earth and we have uh, india here let's just close it now we need to extract some information so there are some tools which we can use to operate on image to find a hidden text like exit tool for the information like metadata so in this case we need to search for metadata here so we will use exif tool to install exif tool you can go with sudo app install exif tool if you haven't downloaded it yet so it's already downloaded in my case so i will just proceed with the usage so just write exif tool followed by the file name especially an image name as you can see it uh, gives us information like modification date and access date and we have a owner name here that is a flag so we'll just copy it and uh, paste it in our solution box so this was our flag if i just go for the hint it says exit tool in this case also so we just solve it without the hint now for the tax 3 sorry tax 4 it says mall are we going to be okay so it says something is hiding that's all you need to know so i just download the tax file here save it and let's just check what is the file we have 
so it's extension dot jpg if i do eog extension to jpg we have a dinosaur with his mother so it says close your eyes and count to 10 uh, just like when we play hide and seek ok mommy and the meteor is falling that's why it's asking mom are we going to be ok so nothing much here so we can run exif tool here to check what is the details and exif tool is also uh, you know if metadata is found on the image on the former server it has a vulnerability of the server it's also a point on a bug bounty you may get 50 dollars as a bounty in some cases or even uh, goodies so we don't have much information in uh, exif tool so we will use another tool known as stack height you can download stack height using the same command as sudo apt install stack height this is a very awesome tool for uh, um hiding a text inside the image and it can't be detected by seeing the image and we can extract the, the details as a stack height extract minus sf or hyphen ss followed by the image name that is extension of jpg in our case so if we just proceed it asks for enter a passphrase we don't have a passphrase means that, that is a password but we haven't uh, been provided with that on the web page so we just press enter as an empty so it says uh, the data is extracted to final message.txt let's just go and see what are the messages the cat is, uh, is a genome tool or you can say linux tool to print the data inside a file on the terminal itself so as you can see we have a flag here sooner or later um it is our turn i'll we'll just copy it and uh, paste it here if you just go for the hint it's also stating for chosen stack height never mind so now this one is the task file it took time to solve this so i won't be solving it now i will just leave it on you i will solve it at last after solving the task 21 um, this is a pretty easy one if you are you know just a bored person and you will do some steps and you will find the flag itself so let's go for the task 6 it says qr means we are going to deal with a qr code let's just download the image first it says a more flag please so let's just see what we have we have a qr.png i do qr we have a qr code here you can use an app to scan this or if you don't have an app you can go for online uses as we know we solved o OSINT room in the previous video we can use uh, many other tools online available for this stuff so we'll do qr scanner So now let's just add our file here. It's in CTF, DHL, CTF volume 1 and QR here. Open. So we have our flag here. So we'll just copy it and paste it in this section. Now on the next group task 7 we have a reverse it or read it. Both works, it's all up to you. So that seems pretty interesting. Let's just download the task file and save the file at the same place let's just go to terminal and check for the file it's a hello.hello .hello. so we have a file command to check what is the format of the file if it's uh, you know double encrypted like something like that so as you can see we have a elf file that we are dealing with you can search for it on the google and how to read the file content you can use cat also to print the content of the file if you're not sure as you can see we have a flag here but this is not acceptable because if the file content is very much you know lengthy then this won't be visible so another command we can use is strings as we have some banded data or hexa decimal data printed on the screen this will not be treated as strings and will be omitted on the output screen so we'll use string 
followed by the kind name that is hello so in this case you can just go up and search for the text if you have something interesting so as you can see it's here now the third case can be so in the first case i said using the cat command to print the contents of the file we had our binary and hexadecimal text followed by the normal strings and using the strings command printed the readable format of english strings on the screen now guess uh, if the file content were much more lengthy and it was like thousands of and what could we have done in that case so we have a grep tool present in kali you can do hello hello followed by grep and thm as we already know the file format is thm sorry the flag format is thm so we search for that specific word followed by the words present in it so as we do thm we get our flag here on this screen you can read about the grep command in the man page just do man and uh, grep gives us the details you can just read it i will just exit it for now so th this will be our flag now i guess i should solve the um, magic so if you just go to inspect element in this case and search for the paragraph here and open it we have uh, another span element in the same line with a rgb of white and some characters so th this was our flag and how did i found it so i was just selecting it and i selected it all as you can see the flag was visible after selecting and it was not visible on deselecting you just select it and paste it here so this was the flag for the tax i now it's uh, another decoding stuff so we don't know what is it so let's just proceed with the previous one we'll just copy the coded stuff and go to cyber chef and paste it here and see what we are given with so it says it is a base 58 encoding and these are the parameters that we dealt with and we have our flag here So just remember if the decoded text you want to encode or decode you can just go to cyberchef and another website is quipkip for jumbled text it generates all the permutational combination of the jumbled sentence it provides you all the probabilities you can have the solution here so remember these two sites it should be very helpful in solving ctfs and another one is factor.db it is basically used for solving challenges related to rsa we can uh, you can watch my later ctf videos for the older ones in which i have used solving rsa key or challenges using this uh, site it should be more clear to you i will just close it for now as we don't need them i just go to the track me set and paste the flag here Now for the task 9 we have left or right left right left right rot 13 is to mainstream solve this so we have a rough idea that the encoding is of uh, rot 30 and we need to do some shifting so let's just copy it and go to cyber chef first to know if we can do something with it so it didn't do anything we just remove it and use rot uh, 13 so it gave us something let's just change the shift if we get something so as you can see at the 7th shift we have our flag that is dhm health season you can just go on doing that and generate it so this was our flag for the task 9 I guess I didn't copy the flag
सेफ्टी फीचर्स को फॉर द हिंट इससे सीजर साइड को को सीजर साइड पर सीजर साइड पर डिकोडर ऑनलाइन we have a decode.fr this is also a very awesome site for solving the shift based uh, challenges so let's just copy it and uh, it should be here somewhere so here is the decrypting and knowing and decrypt caesar cipher it will generate all the possible combinations and as you can see at the 9th we have the solution as thm so this was our plan now for task 18 we need to make a comment no downloadable file no cipher or encoded text so what is in this case so now for that uh, it's saying we need to make a comment if we just go to hint it says check the html so again we have a text hidden in the html section so as you can see we have a commented out uh, text that is thm always check the column Sorry, comments. So let's just copy it and uh, paste it here. This was a pretty easy one. Now let's just close it. Now it says uh, I accidentally messed up with the PNG file. Can you help me fix it? Thanks. So let's just download the Dax file, save it, and it is now named as a spoil.png. Okay. Let me just close this. If we just go to eog spoil dot png, it is not readable. So we can check the you know um uh, signature of the file using the hex edit command. You can download it using sudo app install. Hex edit. It's already downloaded in my case, so I will use the command that is hex edit spoil dot png. As you can see, it's hash three d ihdr followed by some other steps. So let's just search for the file signature of uh, png. That is magic. Uh, I guess this was uh, the no, it's not. Oh, PNG. So we have list of file signatures here. As we go down for a PNG file, let's just uh, it has JPG, and let's just search for it using the find and PNG. Not pick up PNG. We have a PNG here, and do we have another? No. So this is the PNG we have, and. It has this file signature 8954A. If we just go here, it's uh, you know messed up here. So we need to change the starting file signatures to make it uh, work. So we can go with online hex editors, or you can use Nano if you are pretty sure if you can handle it there. So we need to upload a file. Not from here, from here. So we have a X edit here. Let's just uh, print a new browser and open our older one on this side. Where is our PNG? Um, Let's just search for it again. 
png we have it here so it's 89.50 let's just change it with a i'm sorry eighty nine fifty followed by four E and forty seven zero D and zero A one A and zero A. So if I just maximize as you can see it changes to PNG. And here also it's PNG in this case. So I guess our file is you know repaired. So let's just download it from somewhere. Um, we have export option here. Let's just save this. Okay. We do it as spoil. I'm sorry for the wrong spelling. So it's recovered. It's not exiting this, I don't know why. So yes, now if we do ls, we have a file here. Let's just rename this file name first. So now if we do eog spoiler underscore file can't be read now too never mind I guess we should proceed with cyber chef Let's drop down the image here when you go in your folder. So it's not working, showing some error. Let us just figure out something else. So I will just move this. Hex edit uh, text to another file in plain format of spoil dot. PNG If we just go for head head stands for you know a um, short command to print uh, the starting few lines of the file So let's just change this uh, starting parameters. I will proceed with get it. We need to change the starting on signature of the file with the one we found on uh, Google. So let's just do it as a uh, for 23 we have 89 for 33 we have I mean sorry 50 and next we have 4 followed by E and we have 
forty seven and zero D zero A those are same so let's just save it and uh, close it if we do ls we have a file as hex.txt we can just uh, render it to an uh, image using cybershare so we just import a file um, it's hex.txt open and we search for the option render image So yes, okay, let's maximize it, uh, minimize, and as you can see, our image was rendered, and the flag is THM by 35 by 3 C4N. Let's just type it here. So we need to, you know, short out the problems that we have here, and search for the flags. will be by 35 underscore double three sorry it's full caps lock um by 35 underscore w3 underscore c4 n so now let's proceed with dark 12 that is read it so it says uh, some hidden flags inside try hack my social account Let's just go to hint it says reddit so in this we will use google docking technique if you have heard about it let me just show you how we can do so uh, we need to search all the contents present on a specific site that is reddit we will do reddit.com and uh, we are searching for a specific text so we we'll search for in text that is try hacking THM as this is part of a flag and the in title should be as try hacking when we will learn about google docking we will come around this stuff let's just search it for it and we have a post which has a flag in it let's just view that post so here we have a flag let's just copy it and uh, paste it here and when i was doing it for the first time i searched for the reddit account of me sorry the try hack my account on reddit and search for each and every post then i found the flag so now here is another you know decode type or cryptographic type challenge like uh, what is this and we have a sentence or you can say encrypted message so i know this encrypted message name but uh, you can just search for it using you know google docking again google is our best friend and just go to google and paste it here as it is so it won't give you anything let's just remove it go to cybershare remove it and paste it here and go with magic it also didn't return uh, anything so if you are not sure let's just go with a hint so it says binary for i'm not saying that uh, word by myself it's uh, in the hint so we'll just go to binary for decoder we have the decode.fr website again with us it's nice you can just paste the here and click on execute it will proceed with every combination
so it got decoded and we have our flag here so let's just copy it and uh, paste it here now for the tax 14 we have an uh, exclusive string that is s1 and s2 I don't know about this so I'll just go for the hint so it says we need to do s1 or s2 so let's just uh, search for a website that does this off online or you can use python if you are pretty you know good at it so we'll do calculate zor online so we need to put uh, two values that is s1 and s2 so we'll just go with s1 first here and next that is s2 I just calculate this all and we got our output in base but we need it in ASCII value so let's just do it ask and calculate this all again so as you can see we got our flag let's just paste it here now we have a binary box it says please exfiltrate my file let's just download it it's again a held out dpg i just save it uh, in the same folder we'll do ls we have a uh, where is the file held out jpg if we do eog held out jpg it's like a way to the hell I will just close it we don't have anything in it so we will proceed with the same tools that we used in previous uh, image like first exif tool for hell.jpg we have a iptc but this isn't of some use we have a document note just leave this thing as it is it's not uh, not necessary now we'll proceed with hashtag height to extract some data of hell.jpg so we don't have a hidden data with a non-password entry so now we will use a tool known as binwalk it analyzes a file if we just do file hell.jpg to analyze it it says we have a jpg image and something more in it so for that we will use a file or you know package name as binwalk you can just download it using sudo apt install binwalk it analyzes the file if something is present in it and uh, you know extract it for our use so we'll do bin walk followed by the file to check if something is present or not it will saying uh, take some time to analyze the image depending on the image size It is taking some time so we have our details here the single image contains of four other files one is a zip archive another zip archive and a tiff image and a jpeg image so let's just extract it binwalk is also capable of it so we'll do binwalk sorry binwalk hyphen e followed by the image name so it was all extracted so if we do ls we have a uh, hell.jpg extracted let's just cd into that folder if we do ls we have a hello there txt and a zip file this zip file will contain that image only so let's just check for the content of hello dot hello underscore there dot txt so here as you can see we have our flag 
so binmock is mostly used in forensics type challenge in a ctf and another one is foremost if you come across that i will also use that or you can refer to the older ctf videos so this is the flag for this case now it says dark 16 darkness so now it says there is something lurking in the darkness just download it and uh, save it it is dark.png and in the hint it says try stack solve so if you don't so if you don't know about stack solve it is also a you know um, uh, tool which operates on image it changes the um, filters and if data is visible on another filter you can get the flag if you just do a stack solve github you will get the github repository of that you can download this jar file and operate on that as it is a java written code i will show you how to use it once you have downloaded that file let me just do ls um, cd dot dot so we have a dark.png here let's just do eog so it's all dark we can't see anything here so if we just analyze it so it's a single png file 8 bit color rgb so let me just open a new tab zoom it in a little bit if we just go into my new packages and do ls we have a stack solve.jar similar from this one you can just download it or copy the code and paste it on your get it or if i just go to another github repository so here you can do w get uh, this uh, website name stacks of jar and output is stacks of that jar give it the execution permission with chmod paste it into bin and folder so we won't be doing those things as we already have that here so i will just do java hyphen jar followed by stacksol.jar yes that is a java jar file press enter it will come as a small box here let's just go to file open and uh, go for our file that we have downloaded now as you can see it's just a simple black file so use the right or left arrow key to change the filters so as you can see it was made clear on the blue plane one filter so let's just copy it or I guess we need to type it by ourselves I'll just go to the page and type the flag as THM and it's a 7H3R3 underscore 15 underscore H0P3 underscore 1N 7H3 darkness D4 RKN3555 so this is our flag in this case so we just close it so now let's just go for tax 17 uh, sounding qr so it says the flag format is at thm and what we listen in the flag the flag should be in all caps that means we will be given out something else so let's just download this file and if I just go for the previous directory it's qrctf.png if I do eog it's again a qr Let's just go to the online analyzer that is 
QR scanner. And uh, the file is qrcq.png. It gave us a link. Let's just copy it and visit it. As you can see, we have something here as THM CTF Volume 1. So let's accept it. So we have a sound file here. So let's just see what's in it. So after listening to the audio present here in uh, slow motion using this website, I figured it out the flag as uh, THM SOU and DING QR. This was a messed up challenge, but uh, I figured it out. So it starts 18, that is dig up the past. Let me just close the website for now. Of the QR scanner, another one. So I was saying something we need a machine to dig up the past. Target website is this, and target time is this. So if you all know about archive.com or the archive web archive.org to store the snapshot of the website from a previous time and even in some uh, updated cases so we'll just uh, head towards that website web.archive.org it stores the snapshot of the website in the earlier time it's also known as Wayback Machine. So we'll just copy the URL that we need to deal with. Put it here. It will provide us the calendar with all the snapshot present. And the time is 2 January 2020. So let's just go for 2020 here and 2nd of January. So we have one snapshot. So we just visit it. So we are on the page, and let's just search for it. So here is our flag, I guess. Let's just copy it and paste it. So yes, this is our flag. So this is the benefit of using web archive or playback machine. <laughs> now it's time for task 19, the last three tasks. It says uncrackable. Can you solve the following? By the way, I lost the key. Sorry. So it says the format is try hacking. And we have a file here. So let's just copy it. And as earlier I told you using about uh, quick keep. Let's just go to that website and give it a try. Let's just paste it here and then give the first text as a try hacking and click on solve. Let's see if we have our solution. So we don't have it. If I just choose the curly braces tool, let me just check. So it's not in this cache too. So 
so this time we will proceed with a cyber chef so over here let's just paste it now the encrypted one copy and uh, cyber chef and drop the magic one here Just remove it first and go to that website again. So it can't recognize that. So we, I also know about uh, encryption that is vegan. You can search for it on Google. It is most widely used in CTFs. So I will just proceed with a vegan decode. I can't drop it. I don't know why. shows no key is entered so let's just enter the key as try hacking as stated earlier and click on bake so it says something like thm 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 now let's just copy it and try it as our key so yes we find the flag as we found the key I was able to solve it because I saw uh, you know some CTFs earlier and it has the same issues so you can say same questions so now the tax 20 is a small basis we need to decode it and I guess it's something like complex or like that so I just copy it and go to Cybershop again and delete it and go with magic in this case let's just pick it extensive intensive mode on It'll take some time we didn't check for the hint in the uncrackable let's just see it already stated find the key of being garaged game about the way back machine so let's check for the hint in this case too it says convert decimal to hex and then to ASCII so for that let's just check if something is returned no then we will proceed as it states from decimal to hex so we'll go for to hex then to ASCII it's ASCII it can't change you will just go to another website that is uh, hex to ASCII converter it didn't got converted uh, let's just proceed with the contents again so we need to change from decimal 
always uh, keep a habit of using more than one website to be sure so decimal to hex just paste it here and click on convert so we have our hex number we'll just copy it now we'll do as hex and change it to ascii but we don't have it here we'll just go back with uh, hex to ascii and yes this worked so this is our flag for tax uh, 20 now in the tax 21 we have a packet that states that we have the wi-fi network of our neighbors and we got some internet packages now we need to analyze it and search if we can find something interesting so let's just download the file here and ok save and what is the hint that put is into the stream it will be much easier so for analyzing uh, network packets we have a tool named as Wireshark just open it up And edit already analyzed for the file known as flag pcap.png. We we'll just open it and see if what's there something is testing in the flag or the sorry network packets captured. So it's something about city of learn. Do we have something here? No, again, is of port sugar? No decoding so it uh, in the hint, uh, hint it said that put it into a stream so let's just do so I will just go to here and type tcp dot stream EQ as I guess 42 so we have here our data and here if you can see it's written flag.txt if you just open it so here we have It's not here. Let's just use HTTP stream. So yes, we found our flag here in the HTTP stream. And we should be pretty sure on uh, using the parameters of the search box in the Wireshark. It is pretty useful. So this was the last challenge of this uh, task or the room. So that was it in this room, see you in the next video, till then stay safe and happy and don't forget to subscribe my channel, thank you.